Hi there, and welcome to the Shoe Rainer Drawing School. And because it's nearly Easter, well, it is now for me anyway. It probably isn't for you watching this the rest of the year, but it's nearly Easter for me. So here is a little Easter chick uh, for you to decorate cards and posters and things like that for if you really want to. And uh, oh, let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna draw a nice little Easter chick. And, uh, and, and I'm using, going to use pencil very, very lightly. And then I'm going to draw in with this Charisma Color Warm Grey 90%. And you can't get Charisma pet Colors anymore. I have a few, last few in my stock. I'm going to have to find something to replace them. But the nice thing about crayon is that you can kind of paint over it. And uh, anyway, let's see how we go. You'll see what happens. Um, and where do I want the edge like that? There we go. Good. Um, if you see a bit of yellow down there, it's because I've got the paper taped. To the board um, and so we're going to need kind of a, a circle for his head or her head and, and another circle a bit bigger and we'll just have it kind of little angly bit out like that the legs will come little kind of chick legs like that um, now draw a kind of a circle um, a moon shape down so that's kind of a line going down the front of its face so it'll give you a kind of a feel for where its beak is and make sure that the beak kind of curves up because that will give you that will make it look cheeky and chirpy and then this is where his eye will be so you want a kind of ellipse on that side slightly bigger ellipse on this side and it'll be kind of looking at you there you want some little wings kind of coming out like that and then we're kind of ready to draw in now so Go around the edge, kind of pointing outwards, and then draw in that. Actually, that's gone, I've gone a bit too curvy, haven't I? Which makes it look more like a duck, but hmm. Okay, like that, and then carry on going around the outside, and then bring the head around a little bit into the body, but not all the way. Okay, kind of like that. And then you want the kind of a fluffy um, always flicking kind of outwards. Right, chicks are very, very fluffy. And you know, want a little bit kind of like that. And go all around to that kind of edge there. Like that, good. Uh, now, down at the bottom here. We want the uh, there, there, there. That should do it. Uh, we want the little little claws going out like that, and make it sort of slightly bandy legged like that because that kind of makes it look a bit cuter. And then go around the outside, the big circle of the eye like that. And then you want to. They're kind of semicolon sort of shape thing, you know, comma kind of shapes. The, those the middles of the eye. So make sure you've got a little bit of white left in the in the in the eyeball there, and then just ah, uh, I did this last time. Yeah, use a. I'm actually I'm using a a, a what's this? Um, it's a bit like the blue tack really, but it's it's a kneadable putty putty rubber. Um, and I'm almost rubbing, I'm almost rolling the pencil off rather than rubbing, okay? And it'll take some of the crayon off, but that makes it look a bit fluffier. Um, and then we want a few little bits of stuff like that. And then you can just put in a few little hints of fluffy feather like that. And here, look, this is me being the illustrator again. <laughs> I always have to put movement in. <laughs> I can't help myself. Right, I'm going to colour this in now. How am I doing four minutes? OK, I've got my uh, watercolour set here. Which I've shown you before. This is my... I've had this, oh... 25, 30 years now. <laughs> and I don't do an awful lot of watercolour these days. So these paints are really dried up. I should... Uh, there you go, I'm mixing up some yellow. And so go all around the outside, I mean, the inside <laughs> of this chick. But inside the, 
um, the, the kind of feathery lines like that which is probably a bit too yellow but yeah, and then you can you can always flick a few bits out and like like that so you use the brush just to flick it out slightly like that and then I'm going to use a slightly warmer yellow just to kind of drop in some kind of body to it and then this is going to be I'm adding a tiny bit of vermilion to it to make it a bit slightly more orangey and then that will Give it a bit of kind of modelling to it with, with, with using tone and hue to give it a bit of modelling. So it's all pretty much yellow, so it's hue that I'm using to, to kind of give a bit of shape and modelling to it. Uh, I want a little bit of pinkness in the, in the claws, like that. Um, orangeness, right, I'm going to have a bit more oranginess in there. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of white, okay? Oh, there's the phone. Hang on a minute, I'll be back in just one second. Oh, sorry about that. Here I am back again. Um, and and now what I would want to do is kind of add a little bit more slightly darker oranginess there. Um, and I might just put a little bit of oranginess in. It's turning into a baby duck now with all this oranginess I think anyway um, and then I'm just going to dry all around yeah, with my trusty hair dryer just so I don't get the colours bleeding in because I've got to do the, the eyeball and I'm going to use now what I'm going to do is shade that in yellow but I'm going to leave a little hint of white in the yellow up at the top there and then I'm going to add a bit of brown I use burnt sienna for this okay and I'm just going to drop in a little bit of burnt sienna in up at the top and then as you drag it down it will kind of thin and, and blend into the yellow so you kind of get a great great graduated color which always looks nice and uh, now we just need a bit of grass or something down at the bottom don't we so um, we'll just have some nice bright green there oh that's kind of gone into emerald I've put a bit of yellow in with it there we go and maybe a hint of dark or green something like that great good and um, there we go I'm quite pleased with that I'll get that dry and then I think I just want to I'm going to ruin it now probably but <laughs> what I want to do is I just want to uh, kind of just make that a little bit darker in there like that Maybe just a hint of something under there, and maybe just a hint of shadow in there, which probably ruined it. But uh, if I just thin it out with some clear water, that won't make it look quite so bad. And then probably just a little bit of shadow there on the legs, and then something a bit darker underneath just to give it a bit of shadow to put it on the ground like that. Good, there we go. I'm happy, <laughs> I hope you are too. <laughs> I hope you enjoy having a go at this. And um, and and if you do, and you in enjoy all my videos, don't forget to keep coming back and don't forget to subscribe, press that button up there, whichever way it is. And um, uh, uh, keep coming back to the Shoe Rain and Drawing School, uh, Shoe Rain and Drawing channel on YouTube and uh, keep drawing, keep practicing, and happy Easter, if it is still Easter, where it is probably, you know, it's only once a year, and um, <laughs> I'll see you next time, okay, bye.